So uh, today we're going to be making the uh, you know VTOLs. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be making a helicopter. You can use uh, you know the double thruster ones or the you know the multiple rotors up at the top, or you can just make a simple helicopter-looking design. I actually also already did this tutorial, but uh, you know I actually had the uh, you know microphone. Uh, it was set to off actually, so I'm just going to be doing this again. Nobody will notice. Okay, here we go. Plate right here. I'm just going to make sure this is a... I guess I'm not going to make sure that's pointing any direction. Looks about right with that building, so I'm just going to say it's alright. It doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so... We just got to get the plate there. Put the VTOL engine on to the plate pointing in the forward direction that we want to go. We got to get the reactor to power it. Get myself a medium reactor right here. And you gotta get your seat. You gotta get your seat right there. And now we just uh, parent that on to it. You know, pretty much the same stuff as with the fighter tutorial. Just, you know, the basics. You always gotta do this. Alright. Now we're gonna get the uh, pod controller. Not gonna get a camera chip at this one. Probably get a camera chip on the tanks because that's when we actually need to see out of it. Actually, not if I don't have the armor on, but yeah, I'll show you later. All right, you know, with the uh, VTOLs, you got a whole bunch of inputs on this thing. So, you know, you got like left, right, and then you also have the y'all left and y'all right. It, this one here is actually strafing left and right. The uh, first two right there since you know the helicopters they can strafe and you also have to have the ability to turn side to side so for doing that I've actually created an E2 chip I'll include this in the description here it's just a, a simple helicopter control chip real basic stuff I'll put, put that right there now uh, for the yaw toggle I'm going to put that to shift that way I can toggle between uh, if I want to turn side to side or strafe side to side just by holding down the shift key and then you put the uh, left key which is A and then right which is D and then you just put the forward to uh, W and uh, reverse to S now left goes to the chip and so does right and also the two yaw uh, inputs right here they just go right over to this chip. Same name and everything. Alright, for up, I'm going to put that on space, and uh, down will be R. Alright, I'm going to activate it with the third person button. That way we can toggle it. Okay, we got to get these hitboxes on this thing. So I'm going to get myself some rotors built up right here. You know, you can actually have the rotors be, uh, just, you don't actually need them to be moving at all. You can just have, uh, you know, a solid prop there. As long as it's hooked up to a hitbox controller, you'll be fine. But I'm going to make some rotors here, just, you know, for that comedic effect. Got to have sad in the tutorial, you know, wasting time and all that. Alright, let me get these hitboxes spawned. Degree. One of these goes right here. If I can just do that, my aim is absolutely terrible. Okay. You know, you could place these better, but you know, I kind of figure out what they are. Alright, this one, middle thing. And that one goes there, and this one goes there. Okay, so this is the back rotor, this one's the upper rotor, and this is the body hitbox. Which, as I said before, you normally wouldn't put the base plate in the uh, hitbox, but. You know, I'm just teaching you how to build one of these things here. Alright. Rotor 1. You know, it doesn't matter which one you put to either one of them, as long as you have one going to each of them. So I just have them as 1 and 2. You know, it's not left or right. doesn't matter. It's fine. Alright. Body goes to the front of that there. And that should be everything. Gotta just link it up. And we're going to test this out, see if it works. I did not parent those on. But you know, I don't think it actually matters. Just as long as they're wired. And it doesn't. 
Alright, so space was the up key. And here we are. I'm running into the boxes. Alright, space is the up key. And I'm pressing the left and right buttons. Now I'm going to hold down shift and press the uh, keys here. Now we're strafing side to side. Going forward here. Up and sideways. Yeah, seems like we've got it working pretty well. Alright, let me just land this here. And that's all for today. Tune in next time and you'll maybe see me build some tanks. And uh, that reminds me, in version 10 I completely changed how tanks work, so you might need this next tutorial. Alright, bye.